if you put a finger on my sister, I guarantee your head pop, pop, pop just like blister. I might smile and grin, but trust me, darling, when it comes what's good to my beautiful people welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's your girl missus and i'm back with another video so in today's video i'm going to be testing out some new makeup and i'm very excited because we all like testing out new makeup on this channel so if you're new and you do love that kind of content and you like a little bit of lifestyle and vlogs make sure you do subscribe i would really appreciate it so make sure you put your post notification on to all as well so you don't miss any uploads and without further ado let's get right into the video so i have been tested out a beauty bay um product for a while i'm i mean i'm obsessed with their bronzers their individual highlighters their eyeshadow palettes even though i haven't bought the last two because it was a little bit of me but um they came out with a face palette now this is called charmed life face palette so it comes with a blush a bronzer a highlighter and also another blush it came with i think it only came with two shades so obviously i went for the darkest one i don't know why they're doing this but anyway we will i will leave that at the end um so yeah so i thought to pick this up retails for 10 pounds cruelty free and vegan friendly and why not because i do like a little beauty bay here and there so this is what the palette looks like so it's called well on the front it says bronze blush and glow so there you go so once again bronzer two blushes and a highlighter now i'm a type of person that i love a face palette especially if i can have like all my favorite tones in one packaging one look or some some i love that so i'm gonna see how this works out on my skin tone our skin tone if you're my skin twin please um ignore this i had an operation um so yeah try to ignore this but anyway now personally for me when it comes to applying my base products i like to apply cream bronzers cream blushes cream highlighters first and then powders on top but for the sake of the video i'm actually just going to apply the powders raw on top of my face um just obviously you guys can see the tones better without it being manipulated so i'm going to give you guys some swatches first and then we will apply this on the face so these are the shades close up so once again that is cacao the bronzer shade this is the um blush shade called spice then you've got this blush shade called rosewood and then you've got the highlighter called radiant swatch really nicely feel really buttery in the pan pigmented love this highlighter shade and i actually like the texture of it because it's not foily and glittery which i hope it doesn't apply like that on the face so we will definitely shall see just for reference as well these are the two bronzers that i do have on beauty bay this is in the shade oak and this is in the shade chestnut um chestnut is really ready like it's got a reddish undertone oak is like it's got some sort of warmth but not as warm as chestnut so then comparing it to the bronzer shade in the palette, I like how dark this one is, but um, the undertone comes across quite neutral, maybe cool, um, would vary on different skin tones. So let's just see how it looks like. So naturally, I'll apply my bronzer first. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna use one of my favorite brushes to be fair funny enough from beauty bay and um, this is the glow up brush i actually like to use this for my bronzer slash contour a little bit of fallout should be a good sign so let me just apply this on the face okay oh girl okay okay that to me is coming up like contour so particularly for my type of makeup i would love to use the maybell mitchell or any sort of warmish um cream bronzer and then apply this on top yeah this is really nice it's neutral it's not too muddy okay it looks kind of muddy on camera but it's not too muddy to the point that it's off-putting but it's definitely not a bronzer however you can probably mix it with a bit of the spice blush shade and it will probably give you more of a bronzer vibe so that should be cute yeah this is actually quite pigmented as well so a lot goes a long way ago a long way yeah definitely a little goes a long way you don't need to mm -mm -mm. you don't need to do that man. so on this side of my face i'm going to apply this blush shade called spice 
and I'm just going to dab 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 so not too much fallout from the blush but oh yes this is a nice shade I like that mmm she's a little bit of me yeah I mean even if you're medium skin tone you could probably even use the shade um, as a bronzer if you like that warm undertone bronzer shade because this as a blush is beautiful and definitely mixed in with that bronzer so they say um yeah it's actually cute and i really like that shade that shade is nice that shade is actually buff okay spice <laughs> give me a little something some. so on this side of my face i'm going to apply the berry shade called rosewood that one has a little bit of fallout oh yeah this is nice <laughs> yeah yeah this is nice. oh god jesus a little bit too much oh yeah so i am gonna obviously go heavy as per usual but that's actually really nice to the point i feel like yeah looking in a pan now rosewood's got very slight subtle specks in it so it give you more of that sort of glow i'm not too sure if you guys can see it where spice is more matte but i actually really like that shade and i like the sheen it's giving me now i look crazy i'm not gonna lie um, but over there we'll come together, hopefully. Girl. I'm also testing something else out as well, guys. So yeah, my makeup is not gonna be looking <laughs> normal today. <laughs> We're testing, testing, testing. But that is the shade Spice and that is the shade Rosewood. I look crazy as freak. I can't even recognize myself right now, girl. Jeez Louise. But I feel like the pink one is more pigmented though because I didn't apply a lot and i'm literally applying spice like no tomorrow but it's pigmented but i feel like this has more of a punch but it could be the shade as well who knows so on a morphe m5 i can't take myself serious whenever i look in the viewfinder <laughs> on a morphe m501 brush i'm gonna use this to apply the shade radiant now you guys know i always talk about my splendor highlighters from revolution i like a glow but i don't like specs i don't like to look like a disco i like it pressed in well so please okay yep yeah. yep yeah. yep yeah this yeah yeah this formula that's a mole by the way so if you see a little like disturbance is a mole but this formula yeah this is nice I look mad but this is nice I really like the formula yeah it's pressed in very well so it gives me that sheen immediately but then it's not glittery and foily and it's like I can see specks all flying around it's not like that at all that's actually really nice you know and this is a perfect gold for me it's not a yellow gold it's not like an orangey gold it's a really nice gold okay beauty grow the bad self yeah no that's nice yeah it's the highlight for me <laughs> it is the highlight for me okay so yeah so that is the side there with the shade spice and that's the shade rosewood and I actually really like the tones in this palette. It's actually really nice. I really like it, even up close, like all up in my glory, looking at all my textures. The highlighter is sitting nicely. The highlighter is sitting nicely. It's definitely my formula of highlighters that I really like and appreciate. I was gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera, but my battery is flashing, so that needs to be charged. <sighs> Which sucks. So yeah, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera, come back to you guys and give you guys my final opinion about this palette. Okay guys, so I'm back and this is my final complete look. I'm not happy about my hairstyles. Reasons why I just threw on this head scarf because my hair was just not cooperating and yeah. And I didn't want to switch wigs because it's really o'clock in the morning and yeah so we're just gonna rock with the silk headscarf but anywho back to the palette so the bronze blush glow face palette i actually really thoroughly enjoyed i think it's just an easy palette like it's just an easy palette 
shade appears more on the contour side for me but i definitely feel like it will be much better if i will use like my warm undertone bronzer and then use this to contour i think that will complement my skin better now, now i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not in love with my base only because i didn't use i didn't follow my normal routine like if i use my cream bronzer my cream blush my cream highlighter and then apply my powder products i probably would be more in love with my base but to feel like it's just powder on top of powder on top of powder i'm not gonna lie i'm not really feeling it besides that the products are really nice they blend easily they're pigmented i'm not really surprised because one thing i know about beauty bay they're quite consistent when it comes to their formulas i love the blush shades this is really nice and natural shade this one is obviously really popping and i like the fact that it gives you a nice little healthy sheen kind of gives me the vibe like my Huda Beauty one but with more pigment the glowish blush that I always use and I'm starting to like pinks and berries more these days so I really like that blush shade which is obviously this baby here and the highlighter the highlighter is me okay you see that glow you see how it's not you see how it's not texturizing and emphasizing all the nicks and crannies that is the type of formula that i like so it's very rare i could find a contour slash bronzer blushes and a highlighter all in one with no complaints because there's always something that i don't like but i actually like all the products in here very affordable easy packaging got a really nice mirror you can't really complain for 10 pound to be fair and beauty bay always tends to have like good discounts as well my only thing oh my hand my only thing is that i do not understand for the life of me why bring up two <laughs> like when it comes to quads like quad blushes quad highlighters and blushes combos or face palettes i just like brands to just bring up four it's most likely you're going to cater your audience wider audience with four palettes two is just to me it's just not really acceptable yes okay you can pretty much mimic this as much as you can like i said if you're medium you can use this as a bronzer or mix it in um, between the two shades but it's like make, what makes it worse and what hurt my spirit even more is when a product is actually good hopefully beauty bag will bring up more but overall i don't have no complaints like this is actually quite cute and i can see myself using this it's just that highlighter for me it's just like that perfect gold shade it's not yellow gold it's just sorry but it's cute it's cute and it's affordable so much monies but you guys let me know what you think i will leave all the details in the description box below my back is hurting me child oh child <laughs> it's been a long day but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up i really appreciate it and i would love to see you guys in my next one bye and boom that pun and chill like Big up my sisters